Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you're all having a great Taco Tuesday. Uh, this is a short week uh, for the Dallas Cowboys, and we don't have much time to get ready to take on the Eagles. Today, the Cowboys had a walkthrough practice because it's a short week. Everything gets moved up. Um, a day and right now we have Dorrance Armstrong is limited Noah Brown is limited uh, Jake Ferguson with a concussion is limited and J. Ron Curse was limited uh, with his shoulder and back Demarcus Lawrence as well is also limited Micah Parsons though did not practice or would not have practiced because he's got an illness and, of course, we know Leighton Van Der Esch is going to be missing a couple weeks at least. Uh, he did not practice as well. So we've got some guys that are a little nicked up and stuff, but I imagine that they'll be around. Now, the big question is, should the Cowboys worry about this game? Does this game mean anything? And this is a double-edged sword because, you know, already with Jalen Hurts looking like he's not going to play, the Eagles, of course, are trying to play the game. So, you know, we're not ruling out Jalen Hurts right now. Um, basically trying to make the Cowboys prepare for Jalen Hurts as well as Gardner Minichu. Um, and we'll see, uh, I'm pretty sure, Gardner Minichu playing. Um, I haven't had to do this in a while because last week, um, Shady McCoy was not on speak. Excuse me. Was not on speak. And um, we didn't hear any stupid things from Shady McCoy. Now, Shady McCoy had a lot to say about Dak Prescott today. And I have to say, well, you know, this is kind of the, the stupid shit that Shady McCoy says. I think Shady McCoy is trying to make a name for himself and to get his name out there, which is why he literally makes the dumbest takes in the world. Let's have a go and listen to him. First of all, True. first of all, nice. the watch is nice. Though. Yeah. He took off first, nice first of all, <laughs> Dak is ass, right? Can I say on TV? Because he is ass. You can say ass. whatever you want on okay. TV. Okay, that's one thing. This is the second game that he's just lost mm. by throwing picks. He threw two picks to the, pa the, the, uh, the Packers, right? Had 14 point lead, mm -hmm. lost, come back. They was up 17. My man, 17 and lost picks. That first one, that pass he threw, the second one, not the first, the first one was terrible. Do you agree with that? Yes. That was a awful. Like, where was he throwing that ball to? Dak Prescott has the easiest job and uh, the second easiest job, right? The first, I go to easiest job. And, and Jimmy G with, with the um, Niners. Yep. Great defense, right? Run the ball very well, make safe passes. Dak has the easiest job in football. The, the, the picks he's throwing, those are not like, he's not even trying to like, like, like fit, fit the ball through the needles or the small little windows. These are like easy passes. They run the ball well. <laughs> what else can you do? I'll pay you $160 million. That's how you play? If you tell me that's outstanding, I, I don't know what to say. Like I'm, I'm, I'm lost. You just don't know what to say. Man, I don't care. You oh, keep no. talking about these numbers. Yeah. When you watch this, when you okay, they matter. When you watch the game with your eyes, the same eyes that you have, I have two two eyes too. I watch the same game. He looked trash. I got one more. First that's of all, true. first of all, watch. Okay, let's think about this here for a second because, you know, in, in the end, you know, if you. Listen to Shady McCoy, and by all means, you're allowed to listen to Shady McCoy if that's what you want to do. Um, and don't actually understand football. You got to understand that he is flat out just a hater, former Eagle player. Uh, you got to understand with um, a name like Shady. Yeah, with a name like Shady, you know what you're going to get. Now, Apparently, he did not watch any of the film. If you look at the interception, and we've all looked at it in nauseam, that ball was right where it was supposed to be. That ball was right where it needed to be. There wasn't a lot of space in there. The way the Cowboys designed the play was two guys were going this way, Noah Brown was going this way. Helped to clear it out. The defender was chasing. Noah Brown, the ball is here in his chest, in his hands. 
It wasn't a bad pass. It wasn't late. It wasn't behind him. It wasn't ahead of him. He didn't have to die for it. He had it there in stride. He missed it. And I will say on the third down and 10, where we went for it, if you look at that pass too, the ball was right there where it needed to be. Noah Brown, again, has it in his hands. Not a high percentage play, but it was dead on accurate. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It was right where it was supposed to be. Noah Brown just didn't bring it in. And if you go to the first interception, the first interception, sorry, his arm's getting hit. Go look at the film, Shady. Shady, I know you hate the Cowboys. I know you're never going to say anything right about it, but at least be fair about what you're talking about. If you're going to go ahead and say he's ass, let's be re- re- real on this. To say he's got the easiest job in football when he's got assholes like you that are constantly critiquing him and lying on him, I'm not sure that's the easiest job in football. Not the easiest job in football. And let's also look at this, too, where he's got one receiver right now. Let's be clear. He's got one receiver 54% of the passes go to CeeDee Lamb. Why? Because guys like Noah Brown and Crunch Time can't hold on to it. Why? Because when he's throwing to Michael Gallup, it's only 62% rating. And it's not like the Cowboys, which are pretty much one of the worst teams when it comes to separation for the wide receivers. To say that these guys are wide open, shady. Sorry, you're the village idiot here, buddy. You are the village idiot if you honestly believe this crap that you are actually trying to sell us. These guys are not getting open. These guys are not game changers. These guys aren't your Stefan Diggs, your Justin Jeffersons. He doesn't have, you know, uh, Kelsic for a tight end. These are not great, great receivers. But yet... Cowboys, since he's been back, are averaging up 34.9 points a game. That doesn't happen just because he's there. When Cooper Rush is there, it's only 22 points a game. Just saying. Um, yeah, that's just a whole lot of hate right there. Now, as far as this Eagles game goes, and I go back to my premise of, does this game matter? The Cowboys are pretty much locked in, locked in as the fifth seed. We ain't moving up. Just that, well, we could if Jalen Hurts is actually hurt um, worse than they're letting on, and he does miss all three games, and Gardner Minshew turns into a pumpkin. That is possible. But more than likely, we're going to still be the fifth seed. I don't see the Giants coming up and taking it from us. I just don't. And I don't see Washington coming up and taking it from us. Washington's got the 49ers this week. Yeah, good luck with that one. So the question is, is with guys like Jake Ferguson with the concussion, guys like Dorrance Armstrong, who is definitely hurt with his leg, guys like Micah Parsons, who have an illness, and you've got to figure, is nicked up? Do the Cowboys go all in and try and get this game. In the end, it's about bragging rights. I know Cowboy fans look at it and say, you want to win every game. Sometimes you look at things and say, let's live to fight another day. Let's fight a day when it's going to count. We haven't looked good the last two weeks. And, you know, Shady apparently hasn't watched our defense because the way Shady talked it like it was like the defense gave up only 15 points and we just didn't score anything. We scored 34 points, Shady. And, um, yeah. Anyway, that's about all I have for you. The stupid shit that Shady McCoy 
has to say about the Dallas Cowboys. <sighs> Tomorrow's already hump day, which means we're getting closer and closer to game day. I will see you guys soon. Oh, Can we throw one down, man? Can we throw one ball? Yeah. Yeah. All right. wow. Dak just played hell, like Dad? ass today. What the hell, Dak? Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Cooper in the game. Wow. But Cooper in the game. Wow, man. Wow. You want to play like ass, Dad? But Cooper in the game. Okay. Because this is the last time you were going to play. Cooper in the game. Yeah. What was that, Dad? What was that? 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 What was that?